Okay, this is Tommy from Benediction. I thought I'd update you guys on my build after some talk and theory crafting with people on Reddit and YouTube. I found a way to do one pool runs and make it pretty efficient. <clears throat> so I'll go over my gear choices real quick and my spec. Um, Judgment Crown, Orb of the Dark Moon, Judgment Spalders, Saffron Drape. I prefer it to the other capes. Uh, Demon Forge Breastplate is one of the absolutely must-have items for this build. Um, with the Absorption Enchant, it's even usable and preferred over the Judgment Breastplate. Judgment Bindings, uh, Lockamere, you can get away with Hand of Edward the Otter Flurry Axe. There's actually an axe in ZG. Um, I believe it's the Ancient Hikari Manslayer. Uh, I believe that scales one to one with spell power as well. That would be pretty legit to have. Uh, Skull Flame Shield is a must have for this if you're going to do one pulls. Um, it's really better than anything else. Uh, Force of Will, pretty mandatory. Styling and Impeding Scarab. That block value is really good. It makes these mobs hit you for next to nothing. Um, Overlord Onyx Band, you can really use any ring you want. Um, I just prefer that one. And I use a spell power ring because of the synergy with the spell power items. Uh, this scaling 40% and that scaling 1 to 1. Judgment, Judgment, Judgment. And instead of Judgment Gloves, I use Death Grips. Um, Build 30 points in the holy, it's pretty cookie cutter. I raid in this build. Um, shield specialization is the one major thing. And blessing of sanctuary is the last part that's key. Spend the rest however you want. Um, and let's get this started. Now you can make a lot of gold in this. Um, I would say at a bare minimum, you log on for 35 minutes, you can do five runs, a lot of lockout really, really fast. You charge three gold each um, per person. And Force of Will is up. It's only a 1% proc chance, but it is up constantly. <clears throat> Especially when you're getting hit by this many things. But, all the way down the first hallway, and I'm still, you know, doing pretty good on life. Always dispel that when it comes up, because it increases your damage taken. So they really can't get you very low on health at all for this entire run. Haven't had to heal or anything yet, just keep going. Sometimes you do have to bubble towards the end, but it's nothing too big. And honestly, you might be able to get more than three gold per run because you're really moving at a premium pace here. Um, I do get the Zanzas. Yeah, I'm outrunning all of them. Just for that 20% movement speed. It's pretty legit.
I normally get knocked down a couple times in here. Gives you enough time to get set up and change to that, and here we are. Did have to emergency pot that happens sometimes, but uh, what can you do? There we go, one pull. That was uh, four minutes. Pretty much it. Hope you guys like it.